Thank you. Thank you. So uh, the convention, the convention on genocide is really clear in the call it makes to all countries, to all people. Take all necessary steps to prevent the crime of genocide. And all of you marching today and marching in different parts around the world is people marching because those are necessary steps. People taking action, people putting their feet on the ground to demand that action be taken for ceasefire and against genocide. But sadly, is our government and is the European Union doing all, are they taking the necessary steps to prevent genocide? No, they are not. Shame. We heard from John Lannan about what passes through Shannon Airport. And we have to remember Every time we see a child, a child dismembered, every time we see a school flattened, every time we see another family who've lost their home, each time a weapon falls in Gaza, that weapon has reached the Israeli military and it has come from somewhere. And we need to look to the UN, Human Rights Council have called for arms embargoes, basic humanity demands that we end the flow of weapons. But right now, Ireland is continuing to do what they've done for decades, which is an eyes wide shut approach to what goes through our airports. Shame. <laughs> to be clear, this is important. Donald had, had it right. It is actually not legal to bring weapons or dangerous goods or munitions through Ireland unless the minister says it's okay. Being clear, Ireland, we're a neutral country, and one of the benefits of it is we actually already have a ban on these weapons, but the problem is we don't enforce it, and we had last year 1,000 exemptions for flights, civilian flights that went through Ireland with weapons, munitions, or dangerous goods. 1,000 exemptions and no inspections. Shame! Our arms embargo bill, it's really simple. We literally were saying, stop giving exemptions. Demanding, demanding inspections. But to be very clear, the minister, I want to say because we've had a lot of, oh, we'd like to do some spot checks and we'd like to think about it in the medium. Being clear, under Article 8.2 of the Air Navigation Carriage of Munitions legislation, the minister can choose. And each time the Minister of Foreign Affairs chooses to let a military, a military flight through, that is a choice that has blood on its hands. And each time the Minister for, your, for Transport chooses to give another exemption, that choice has blood. And it is not. It is ridiculous to tell us the flights aren't going to Israel because the largest amount of exemptions granted to flights here in Ireland are to the US and Germany, the two biggest arms suppliers to Israel in the world. The US, we've heard about the weapons they've sent. They couldn't find enough planes to fit them on. But Germany, from 30 million in military exports to 300 million in military exports last year. But shame, but let's talk about Ireland. The last part of our legislative piece, dual use goods. This phrase, we hear it, it sounds dual use. These are, the, these are tools that can be used to kill. These are tools that are used by military machines to target civilians. They, we hear often their technology. Technology that works as part of a machine of war. A machine of war, one of the most advanced in the world that has managed to target ambulances, target hospitals, and yet somehow is never used to avoid killing 15 million children, 15,000 children. Shame on that technology. But let's, so Ireland, not only are we permitting the transit of these dual use goods, not only are we leaning in to business as usual, 
But it's worse than business as usual because Ireland's export of these weapons to Israel, we went from 10 million in money on dual use goods to 70 million last year. 53 million that Ireland has seen in dual use goods that have gone through our country since October. Each time, each time, we do not know how those weapons may be used, how those technologies will be used to kill. That's why, and this is important, we're gonna come, I'm gonna come just to the other things we can do, because all of us wanna see what we can do. Ireland tomorrow, tomorrow, Ireland can deny licenses to travel with dual use goods through Ireland. Tomorrow, Ireland can choose to inspect and ban exemptions on flights. We can do these now. And it is, frankly, grotesque, grotesque to have ministers claiming their hands are tied when the hands and legs and arms of children in Palestine are being torn apart each day. And when, Israel, when Gaza right now has the highest level of child amputees in the world. But let's talk one more thing that Ireland can do that it must do. Yesterday, the ICJ, and it's the last thing I'll read, the ICJ, the International Court of Justice, they told us what we all know, that Israel's occupation of Palestine is illegal and unlawful. They told us what we know, but what they also told us, and this matters, is that you cannot simply talk the talk or weep the tears for human rights violations. You need to follow through with action, and that may be action, that means you have to make some of people with money uncomfortable. So let's be clear, on trade, the International Court of Justice has stated that all, all countries all who's held by international law must abstain from entering into economic or trade dealings with Israel concerning the occupied Palestinian territories which may entrench their unlawful presence in that country and must take steps, real steps, to prevent trade or investment that helps maintain the illegal situation by Israel and the occupied territories. This is the International Court of Justice. And yet we have phrases from the minister, from the Taoiseach, who told us, I'm a co-sponsor of the Occupied Territories Bill, that we wouldn't want, we wouldn't want to limit, we wouldn't want to limit uh, to the, the trade in goods which were being legally traded elsewhere in the European Union. Let us be 100% crystal clear there is no legal trade with goods from occupied territories. It is not just, it is not just immoral. It is immoral and it is illegal. So this is not asking Ireland to go out on a limb as we should and lead like we did before on boycott and on sanctions for Israel. And we should lead. We need boycott. We need sanctions. This is simply saying to Ireland, Stop being part of illegal trade with occupied territories. Stop allowing weapons and dual use goods through for an illegal war and the illegal expansion in the West Bank of illegal and immoral settlements. And just as a reminder, because it'll break your heart, meanwhile, while business as usual is kind of going on with a lot of talk, and we don't want to disrupt business, be clear, Israel has no problem with blocking the flow of goods. The dual use list for Israel, what's on it? Water purifiers, oxygen tanks. They are literally cutting off air and water from the people of Gaza. Lest the people of Gaza use that to live. Shame, shame. And yet we're still unwilling to maybe make a few tech companies uncomfortable and take a stand. So now, time for action is now.
This is the summer, but the government cannot be allowed to rest. We need action today, tomorrow, next week, because every single time that a beautiful Palestinian heart is stopped, it is a blow to all our humanity. And it is a shame and stain on what we hope for a world of peace and justice. So action, action, action. This is the demand and we will continue to push for it. And thank you for taking the steps today.